and I'm just cruising in neutral. Whoop, whoop. I mean, you can't hurt anything, right? Day seven, I am currently in the middle of Nevada somewhere with the sun. So I left Vegas this morning around 3.30 in the morning and I'm going to be all the way up in Idaho today. So I have one large stop that I really wanna to go to and hopefully have enough time to spend and take some photos, but I'm gonna to head to the Bonneville Salt Flats for first time because I've never been there before but this is absolutely gorgeous and I am like the only one on the highway right now perfect it's a good Sunday all right see you guys shortly it's like my soul is set on fire but oh I'm starting to Cause I can run but I I'm so excited. 
Just look at it. You can see for miles. There's not a car in sight. Yes. to the Bonneville Salt Flats. Not sure what to expect. So. Does this count as off-road? <laughs> Alright, time for some pictures quick. It's fantastic. Cause I can run but I Like we're getting closer to Idaho by the looks of all of us. It's awesome. So when I stopped at the Bonneville Salt Flats, I actually ran into a father-daughter duo from Minnesota. They were out doing like a four or five thousand mile trip going out to Colorado and then coming back by Tuesday. Like that's that's an awesome summer for that girl. I was, I love, I love seeing that. She looked like she was having the time of her life. Made it to Idaho, so state 39, I think is the count. I had to put my seat back to its original tall position. I realized that the guys at Henderson put it in the low one and three hours and I was like nope this is not how I've been riding for so long so quick change and need to get back on the road headed to Oregon and then we'll see I want to get up to Idaho again but availability for hotels are getting pretty tight I literally have the bike turned off I just put it in neutral it's so hot guys I had to take everything off just for this little bit I couldn't with the heat that I endured yesterday in the Mojave Desert in California till now I'm just I'm beat I got a lot more of this traffic it looks like too so I'm trying to keep the bike off for a little bit <laughs> this is highly entertaining I mean I'm just cruising in neutral whoop, whoop. I mean, you can't hurt anything right and have in this larger portion here my booklet of receipts it's getting pretty big right here and then I'm gonna go through the last stop so I have stickers for the ones that actually count for the states to make sure I've gotten them um, and then these are my notes of like general area of where I want to be at so today I went through Vegas so I went Nevada Utah Idaho and I'm in Oregon so with this, just make sure the receipt has the actual state on there. That's the most important part for here. Then I'll take my pen out, write the number for the state. So it's number 40. And then I'll turn the bike on again. My 
comms might start up again. And then I will log the odometer reading, so 11,162 miles. There it is. I knew it was going to be that way. Okay. Then, once I've gotten that, I'll take my phone and pull up my time stamp. And you can tell, like, my phone broke because of this ram mount like it's all jacked up won't take a normal picture so I have to do it in super wide view and it actually works so then I'm going to get the picture with the odometer reading and then the timestamp app actually has the date time GPS coordinates address all the whole nine yards so it timestamps it into the actual photo I'll show you it here so like there so that's my proof of it I've got that on there. Oh, I actually wanted to write instead of just number 40. Number 40 plus the state, so we're done. And then I will pretty much fold it up and put it in my little book of receipts for record keeping. So we are here. Number 40. And that's pretty much how I'm doing my verification. So each day is color coordinated. So white is this day and then pink is my second to last day. And then I've got one more for my ninth day and of course my 10th day back. But that is how I document and keep everything organized for this 48 and 10. good time to sign off for the night for day seven day seven I can't believe I was pretty much in California this morning kind of Vegas area and then I'm all the way up on the top part of Oregon right now it was a good, good day. Got to see the Bonneville Salt Flats. Got to experience a whole bunch of states that I've have never been out this far at all. It was super cool. So yeah, tune in for tomorrow's journey. Uh, next week <laughs> and I'll share some more after that okay time to go check into the hotel and get some good good rest because I need it I'm hoping to get more than four hours of sleep fingers crossed all right see you guys later cover them up and we will lock the front forks that's all I need to do for tonight. Are you locked all the way? There we go. Okay, now to bring all this stuff into the hotel room. Yeah, oh, shoot. I do love my snacks. Water. You can tell how at the end of the day you're just so exhausted. That this all. It's just a workout in itself, especially this guy. And there's no easy way to carry this thing. Come on. Okay. All right, nighty night bike. See you in the morning. I'm in. Home sweet home for the next couple of hours. This is how I work in the hotel room. So I have currently my comms unit charging, GoPro batteries, battery pack. Everything is all set and ready. Should be 100% when I wake up. And then everything clothes wise, clothes wise is laid out for me. So my suit, my boots, 
my clothing that I have, I don't even have to think. I can wake up, put it on, I'm pretty much ready to roll. So my tank bag is good. Once everything over there is charged, it goes in there, closes up. Waterproof bag is already sealed up. That needs to go in the hard case. And then for breakfast tomorrow, and then my hydration pack is um, cooling some water as well. So I just need to go to bed. I've got this down after seven days, like a well-oiled machine. This has been my best friend. <laughs> Someone please tell me why I'm still in Montana and I will be in Montana for the next stop yet too. Guys, <laughs> I just hit 12,000 miles. I didn't even realize it. <laughs>